Hello everybody, today I'll be showing you my Nintendo DS game collection. It's all in this one box. Actually, no. Can't fit all of them, unfortunately. But, uh, it's, it's a nice box. Pretty nice. Oopsies. <laughs> yeah, anyways, I'll be going through all these games, showing you what I have and my thoughts and whatnot, and that would be it, I guess. It's gonna be a long video, so be prepared. So, in no particular order, first up, Rayman DS. I'm a huge Rayman fan. And as much as I love Rayman DS, which is a port of Rayman 2, I am so tired of them remaking this game over and over. It's so tiring. I mean, they have a 3DS version, an iPod version, PC version, N64, PSP, uh, I don't know what else am I missing, but probably much, much more. So... Please, Ubisoft, stop making this game over and over again. <laughs> Make uh, some Rayman 3. I love that game. Uh, next up, we got Mario Hoops 3-on-3. Three three. Uh, this is a really fun basketball game. I cannot beat the Rainbow Tourney. And that's the one where the uh, Final Fantasy characters arrive and like beat you up badly. It has a uh, multiplayer, single cart and multi cart. The problem with single cart is you cannot have a uh, regular basketball game. And this is a basketball game. So, I don't know, they kind of missed the uh, ball with that one, if that's how you say it. But if you play multi-card play, uh, you can play a basketball game. So that's good. Metroid Prime Hunters. This was a pretty awesome game. My first ever Metroid game. And uh, quite a nice one to choose. I'm a huge Halo fan, so I really like this game. Uh, the online is pretty fun. Uh, if you have friends, you can like chat using the microphone. That's pretty awesome. I should play this more often, actually. It's been a long time since I've played it. Uh, we've got Mario and Luigi, Bowser's Inside Story. Uh, I think this is the only one from the uh, series that they went with the Japanese artwork. It's alright, but I don't know. A little more color would have been nice. Focusing more on Bowser 2 would have been better. Well, there is a big Bowser, but eh, whatever. This is a really fun franchise. I love the jokes and whatnot. Really witty and stuff. <laughs> I've beat story mode, but there's a lot of stuff you can do after the game, apparently. Haven't done that stuff. Not planning to. <laughs> Pokemon Ranger. I hate this game. My goodness. I'm just not a fan of the mechanics and whatnot. I mean, the graphics are really nice, the Pokemon illustrations and whatnot, really nice. But, I don't know, I'm not a fan of it. Uh, I got this mainly for the Mana Fee Egg, which you can only get one though. Uh, I don't know if you restart your game if you can get another one, but I do not want to go through that painful uh, storyline again. Rayquaza or Charizard, one of them was like giving me so much trouble. Rayman Raving Rabbids. Uh, this game has some nice, um, nice music. No multiplayer, and uh, it's a basically a platformer. I do not remember much of this game. I just remember that nice song, uh, Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this was a very dark period in Rayman's time. If you're a Rayman fan, you'll understand. Canceling Rayman 4 for the Rabbids, that's uh, very unfortunate. It was tough being a fan during that period. <laughs> Uh, here's a game that I'm not a fan of, uh, Crash Boom Bang. It's a multiplayer game from the Crash franchise, I guess you could say. Got this at EB Games for like $3, if I'm not mistaken. Played it once with my cousin. We didn't have that much fun, and that's basically it, so... I'm not a Crash fan. Maybe Crash fans like this stuff. And they'll be like, dude, you do not know what you're missing out on. Pokemon Dash! This was my very first uh, Nintendo DS game. Uh, I wish I chose another one because this game is not fun at all. You can only be Pikachu. Pikachu looks pretty cool on the cover, but man, it would be nice if you can be Trico or Munchlax. I think you can be Munchlax in, if you get some promotional thing. I don't remember exactly, but just Pikachu. There's multiplayer, but only multi cart so that's another low blow. Uh, yeah, it's not the best game to get as your first Nintendo DS game, but as a Pokemon fan, I chose it. Blind Pokemon fans, I tell ya. Pokemon Ranger, or I mean Power Rangers Super Legends 15th Anniversary. I got this game for my cousins, because they are huge uh, Power Ranger fans. They love the game, 
I do not think they've beaten it though. I used to like Power Rangers too, but only the Mighty Morphin ones. None of this new stuff. Just, I'm not a fan of change. So, yeah, no change for me. <laughs> uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, uh, Explorers of Time. Oh man, the Mystery Dungeon franchise is an amazing franchise. Amazing franchise. Uh, they've done a pretty awesome job, the storylines and whatnot. I really like this game. I've beat story mode. And then the, all that stuff you can do after story mode, I haven't really done that. Because it's so hard. <laughs> I mean, I'm up for a challenge, but I usually give up on those challenges. <laughs> brain age. Train your brain 15 minutes a day or whatever it says. I can't see. <laughs> um, this was fun for like the first two weeks. And then it just got boring, and then I never played it after that. Uh, was it like that for you guys? Oh, nice. I was looking for this. Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> and there's a pin. I'm pretty sure I used that. If not, good luck whoever uses that. Uh, Ten bucks, I think, I paid for this. Ten or twenty. Yikes. Hope it wasn't twenty. But, yeah. That franchise is pretty huge now, if I'm not mistaken. What are you doing with this game? <laughs> sea World Adventure Parks Shamu's Deep Sea Adventure Why on earth do I have this game? What is wrong with me? Is that what you're saying? Well, come me a break <laughs> I didn't buy this game, I got it for free uh, If I'm not mistaken, it was Pokemon Trozai When it first came out, there was an ad in the paper It said, buy Pokemon Trozai and get one free DS game And so I was like, hey, yeah One free DS game, I'm in uh, Sonic Rush, my first Sonic game. Uh, it's a pretty fun game. It has single cart multiplayer. Do not remember what you do in it. Um, I haven't beaten story mode, unfortunately. I'm stuck on a level, it's so hard. <laughs> That's the story of my life, I think. Wario, Master of Disguise. I love Wario games. Wario games are awesome. It's been such a long time since we've had a new Wario game, actually. I kind of miss the dude. Last, yeah, this was the last game we had, actually. I mean, there was, there's one for the Wii, but that's different. That's the Wii. They should make a new Wario game. Not WarioWare Incorporated. I, I hate that franchise. I hate it. <laughs> Something like Wario Land 3 would be nice. Wario Land 4 or 5. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. Once again, Mystery Dungeon. Amazing game. I beat story mode. And uh, haven't done stuff at the end. The ending of this game was pretty awesome, so emotional and whatnot. I really loved it. But then, this is a kid's game, so they did something at the end, and I was like, oh, why did you have to add that bit in? Really unfortunate. Pokemon. <laughs> why Pokemon? New Super Mario Brothers. Pretty awesome game. Uh, it's not new anymore, but it's great. Multiplayer, the Mario vs. Luigi is really fun. I wish they would... Uh, Made it for four players, but hey, I guess that's for the Wii version. With two toads, though, they could have put some new character. Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. That's what it's called? Yes, it is. So the sequel to Superstar Saga. Awesome. Awesome game. Whoa. But yeah. Love that franchise. Pokemon Platinum. What can I say about Pokemon Platinum? It's awesome, isn't it? I wasn't that much of a fan of this actually because they didn't really add much. I mean, the storyline at the end with the heat ran was pretty cool, but um, the distortion world, I thought that was pretty much useless. I mean, yay, 3D. But what else are you gonna do, right? Just go catch Garatina, whatever. Pokemon Trozai. It's a fun puzzle game. You gotta be good, fast, and whatnot. It's something that I'm not. I actually beat this game a month ago. And uh, once I beat the game, they actually erased all my data or something, and I have to start all over, but this time in hard mode. And <laughs> I'm currently struggling to get rid of the training sessions, because even the training sessions are hard, so if that's hard, oh my goodness, I better give up now. <laughs> Pokemon Diamond, one of my favorite games. This game it's inspired me to uh, complete my Pokedex. Haven't completed it yet, but I'll be there. Steelix is one Pokemon that I'm missing. That's nice. An easy Pokemon. Cars, Mater National. I got this at a garage sale for five bucks if I'm not mistaken. 
has a multiplayer, single cart and multi cart, so that's interesting. I should play it one day with my cousins. I'm more of a Cars 2 fan, but hey, if it's cheap, I'll get it, right? Then we've got uh, Mario Kart DS. Really fun game, obviously. Mario Kart's fun. Only problem is, problem many people have, uh, I, I don't know how to snake, so if I go on Wi-Fi, I'm pretty much a loser. But what I like about Wi-Fi is the amount of cheaters there are. Like, they throw infinite uh, Bowser shells. That is super fun. I love that kind of stuff. But I know, people hate that stuff. By the way, single cart multiplayer for that? You play as Shy Guy. That's interesting. Interesting. Mario Hoops 3 on 3, once again. I got this on eBay for a very cheap price. Uh, the manual's missing, unfortunately. Um, yeah. I got this mainly because I wanted to play multi cart uh, multiplayer with my cousins. Have a basketball game, you know? I mean, that's the whole point, right? So, yeah. I win those games, by the way. Just throwing my games on the bed. <laughs> Mario Kart. I, I know. Super Mario 64 DS. The, I haven't played the original, but this is pretty much the, the exact same thing, I'm assuming. It's a really fun game, actually. I don't know if I've beat it yet. I remember uh, facing Bowser, but I don't know if I beat him. Probably. Probably not. <laughs> uh, multiplayer. There's single cart multiplayer, which is fun for like a while, maybe first 15 minutes, then it just gets tiring. What you do is uh, get get a star. Whoever gets the most stars in like 20 seconds, they win. Yeah. But it's cool how you can play as Wario in that game. He's like a good guy. Awesome. <laughs> Metroid Prime Pinball. It's pinball. Pinball's pretty fun. This came with a uh, rumble pack, if I'm not mistaken. So that is cool. And apparently this has single cart multiplayer for 1 to 8 players. 1 to 8 players. I wonder how that goes. I have to try it out. Uh, oh, there's nothing in here, so... We've got um, Pokemon Soul Silver. Haven't played that Pokewalker thing, but I love this game. They remade Gold and Silver as they should have. Uh, added amazing new features, especially with the walking around thing. I really like that. So yeah, this is a hit. The only thing that's a miss on this game is the cover. It's not exactly very shiny. The gray or silver is sort of boring, but hey. Lugia's pose is pretty awesome. We've got Pokemon White, obviously, who doesn't have this game, or its counterpart. Um, it's alright, it's fun for a Pokemon game, I guess. Uh, I felt there wasn't much to do, actually, especially after you beat the story mode. I mean, yes, people, a lot of people have been saying, uh, oh, wait till, you beat the, uh, wait till you beat the Elite Four, there's a lot of stuff you can do. Really? Not much. I mean, you go to those three cities, catch some legendaries with no storylines, and uh, that's basically it. It's not that great. Soul Silver much better. And this is the final game that I've purchased, Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. I do not know how to say that last name, but Troubadour is what I'm going with. Really fun. Ever since I've played the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! games for the Game Boy Color and GBA, uh, this has been one amazing franchise. So I had to find the DS version. I'm currently playing it. Yeah, so I know there's GX and 5Ds, but as I mentioned before, I'm not a fan of change, so... Yugi and friends, gotta have them. So that's basically it. Here's my Nintendo DS. Hopefully it's not dirty. Yeah, it's alright. The original Nintendo DS. None of this DSi, MiSi, DS Lite garbage. Uh, my serial code's been uh, rubbed off. No warranty for me. I lost my stylus like 500 million times. But yeah, oh, it's the Rumble Pack. What on earth is it doing here? You know, I haven't used the GBA slot for a long time. I wonder if it's been there for like years. And uh, so here's my case that I usually put my 3DS in. I mean, my Nintendo DS in. But as I just blurted out, 
um, my 3DS now occupies this case. Stealing my DS's home. By the way, I bought this case. I didn't buy this case. I got it for free for uh, purchasing Pokemon Diamond, as it says right there. So, yeah, I'll get a case for my 3DS, but uh, after they uh, release that big fat accessory. Anyways, that would be it. That's my collection. Post your collection. What do you think of my collection? And uh, how do you like my case? Pretty awesome, huh? So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.